Have you ever wondered how some tech companies manage to keep up with the latest trends in the cryptocurrency world? Today's tale is all about Robinhood. The innovative fintech is the Opio so platform that's been shaking things up in Europe. Uh, imagine this year at a lively tech conference in Brussels when suddenly everyone starts buzzing about a new feature on Robinhood's the European crypto division. Uh, what could it be, if you ask? Let me spin you a yawn. Uh, paragraph one. Uh, intrigued by the excitement, Robinhood announced the launch of Solana staking for their European clients. With an attractive estimated uh, annual percentage yield of around 5%, who wouldn't want to be uh, jump aboard? But remember, yields can fluctuate, so keep that in mind. Uh, paragraph two. And then Solana, a popular choice amongst EU crypto enthusiasts due to its quicker transaction times compared to Ethereum, had piqued Robinhood's interest. Its shorter bonding period made it even more appealing. And then paragraph three, I'll picture this, Robinhood Crypto, the EU's newest crypto trading sensation, only entered the scene last December. It listed an impressive roster of 33 tokens, including fan favorites like Bitcoin and Ethereum, uh, Paragon 4. And, um, but here's where the plot thickens back in the States. Robinhood's U.S. branch had parted ways with Solana following allegations from the Securities and Exchange Commission. They claimed that Solana was an unregistered security. Oopsie daisy! Uh, paragraph 5. F uh, to add another layer of intrigue, Robinhood Crypto received a Wells notice from the SEC concerning their token listings. Uh, a Wells notice is uh, essentially a warning shot getting the company a chance to respond before any enforcement action is taken. Uh, and now, for a little levity, why did the Solana developer go broke? Because he kept putting all his eggs in one smart contract. With that said, thanks for joining me on this wild ride through the world of Robin Hood and Solana. Until next time, happy exploring.